Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. Today I have four black and white Buffalo Checker Dollar Tree DIYs. These are an everyday decor and very easy to make, so I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so for this first DIY, we'll be using this bank from the Dollar Tree. So all you're gonna do is pull the back off, get a razor blade and just scrape the letters off. Very simple. That is what it looks like. Now you can always paint it if you want it a different color, but I'm just gonna keep it black. I'm using this um, paper from Hobby Lobby. You can also use the paper from a Dollar Tree or make your own checkered um, pattern or whatever colors you wanna do. So I just measure it out and I'm gonna go ahead and just use a couple pieces of tape so I can change this um, with different backings for different DIY. So that is why I'm not gonna be using glue. Place it right on there. And there's your background. This is a wooden heart from the Dollar Tree. I just cut off the twine and painted it white. Now you could put something on there if you want. If not, just go ahead and put the top back on and there you go. But I'm gonna be taking some of these Crafter Square Rub On Transfer. Now you can use the letters or the words. I'm gonna put a couple of words on there. So I decided to do the forever home. So you just take the backing off, place it on your heart. And I'll be doing the same thing with home. Maybe, there we go. Now I'm just gonna take like a popsicle stick and start rubbing it on. Now you wanna make sure you get every single letter. And take the paper off very, very slowly. If you see any of the letters coming up with the paper, just go ahead and place it back down and rub it on a little bit more. So look how fancy that looks. Now let's see if we can do home. Now see a little bit of the letter came off. Oh well, I'll survive. So there you go, forever home heart. Now you're gonna place it onto your backing. You can glue it or tape it. I'm gonna tape it because I will be using this for another DIY down the road. So just place it on where you want it. And there you go. Clamps right on. Look how easy that was. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these fairy lights from the Dollar Tree. And look at that, lights it up. Makes it more fancy. Okay, for this one, I'm taking the wooden crate um, from the Dollar Tree and I just painted it white. I'm gonna take some of these Easter eggs. You can use ping pong balls too, but I'm just using on what I have on hand because I did not leave the house this week. And I'm also gonna be using some of the floral garden um, ribbon. So I'm just gonna take my ribbon. Now you can put it just through the middle or you can do all three or just the top and bottom. I'm gonna wrap it around the middle. And again, I will be using this for another DIY, so I'm gonna use tape and not glue. Now this part is optional. You can also use um, twine if you want or burlap or any other kind of ribbon um, for that matter. I don't know why this was so difficult for me. It's the easy things, I tell you. I always have to make it so difficult. Wrap it around. Stick it on there. This is the Rust-Oleum paint that I love using. This is the flat white and flat black. I went ahead and put the eggs on a stick and spray painted them so it was easier to do. Beautiful decor, isn't it? 
Now I really wanted to use some of the brown moss, but I did not have any. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the reindeer moss or whatever you want to call this green stuff. And I'm going to throw in a couple of my eggs. And again, you can also use ping pong balls if you want. Now I try to get all five of them in there, but it just wasn't going to work. It's like putting a puzzle together. So there, that's how I'm going to keep it, I guess. Okay, for this one, I'll be using this long sign. Now you can also use cardboard. You don't have to use a piece of wood. I just uh, painted it white, nothing fancy. This is the white paint that I used and then the Crafter Square paint. And I'm using some of these hearts from the Dollar Tree. Now I painted the hearts black and white. Now you can scatter them on your board that way. Or you can have the sign going long way, which that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to line them up to make sure they're all going to fit, and they do. Now you can add whatever words, letters, you can spell whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and do welcome. So it's going to be a welcome sign. Pretty simple, huh? So since I don't have a white marker, I'm going to use some chalk and a Sharpie, or you can use some rub-ons if you want. But these are the two I'm going to be using. So since this is chalkboard paint, I'm going to do a crooked W. That's what happens when you do it sideways. And then I'm going to use my Sharpie on the white ones. And I have horrible handwriting, so bear with me. And for some reason, I had a heck of a time to make an L. Why? I don't know. So, like I said, you can do any words, any letters. You can write your kids' names on these and do, like, a name chart. Or you can do a um, work chart, like chores. So, just trying to think outside the box for you guys. But I'm plain Jane, so that's why I'm doing welcome. Finally, the last letter. There we go. Welcome! And I used some twine, and there you go. So here is the welcome sign hanging up on the wall. Here is the little crate with the black and white eggs and ribbon. The shadow box. Okay, for this one, I'll be using a cooling rack, two of the wooden frames with the galvanized backing, a hook, some burlap, and some ribbon. So, what I'm going to do is take my burlap and I'm going to do these about five inches long. And same with this ribbon. And all you're going to do is take your burlap and your ribbon and just start tying all the way around the frame of the rack. And again, you can also use whatever, you know, what other colors you would like for your decor. I'm just going to keep it plain and simple and doing the black and white and burlap. Now I want to take my hook and add it right there on the bottom, take some zip ties from the Dollar Tree and tie them on the bottom there, tighten them up, make sure they're even. Once you get that done, go ahead and take your scissors and cut the extra off. Now you can finish tying your burlap and your ribbon along the bottom. Now, if you want to color your rack, you can. You can paint it black or white. But 
but I just decided to keep mine silver. I guess I was being lazy. Not ashamed to admit it. So these are all so easy to make. Now I'm just going to fan the burlap and the ribbon outward. Once you get that done, go ahead and take your two frames. And just place them on the rack. Just like that. So if you want, you can hang this on the wall. You can add pictures to it, or you can put little notes, money, keychains. Heck, you can go ahead and use it for jewelry if you want. If you didn't want to hang it, you can go ahead and just place it on a desk or a shelf. Plain and simple. Okay, so those are the four Dollar Tree DIYs that I was able to get done for you today. So I hope I was able to give you some ideas on how maybe you can use some of your items that you have laying around. If you want to see more of my Dollar Tree DIYs, you can go ahead and go to my playlist or I'll link it down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to sit and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, keep smiling.